Yes, my people. You see, as I'm back, I'm just waiting for the gaffer, the coach, Pochettino. <laughs> he needs to deliver some good news for us. I'm expecting him to come fully to deliver a good news. Meanwhile, I have a video to show you. At the end of this episode, at the end of the video, getting to the end, wait, just about eight minutes video. At the end of this particular video, getting to the later part of it, I have a short video of the training of the players, both the gym and on the pitch. You see them clearly. You love what they are doing. So don't go anywhere. Just hang around until the end of the video. Make sure you watch that video because I want to hear from you at the comment section what you've seen. How they were training, what I what's your impression? I want to see your impression about them in training, right? All right, quickly, before we go back to Chelsea, quickly some other news. Saudi Arabian club El Etifag are set officially to sign free agent Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard has been a free agent for some time now in the Saudi Arabian side. Club El Etifag, they want to sign him. You know, free agent, you can still sign right now. It's any club you want to sign to. They are still in the market as free agents. So Jesse Lingard deal is almost about to go through with Al Etifad with Saudi side, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Report in Italy state that Victor Osimhen and his agent Roberto Calenda have not taken the Laurentiis comment well amid the standoff over his contract. The agent of Osimhen. And Osman, you said, if not taking the comment made by Napoli president lightly, what was the comment? He, I think, is it yesterday? When he made a statement that Victor can choose to sign the contract now or he can wait until 2025. <laughs> until 2025, when his contract will expire. But before the contract will expire, in 2025, they will surely sell him. So he can wait. Is that it? They sold, uh, uh, what was his name? This defender that Chelsea bought from Napoli last year. My goodness, that we saw, we, we saw him recently. That they sold him even with one year left on his contract. They were able to sell him. So Victor can choose to sign the contract now or leave it. 2024, 2025, one year to, for the contract to expire, they can still sell him. And this comment did not go down with the agent of Victor Osimhen. The agent is always in the news, you know. The last time he said he's going to sue Napoli. Uh -huh. Now... Every time issues are coming up, this is why we say Chelsea, we know, we know what is happening. We know what is happening in Napoli right now. The player is not settled yet. This season, no. This season, no. By January, we should be expecting a good news from that side. I know, I know. It's Chelsea. <laughs> we know what we are doing, man. We know what we are doing. We know what we are doing. Let me finish with the outside and then I'll come back to Chelsea for you. Mikel Ateta, yes, the coach on the other side, tomorrow's game, he has been speaking and he said something. Let me tell you what he said. Ateta, when asked whether Saka wants to play against Chelsea, this is what he said. He said, I'm sure he wants to play. Yes, he's been working so hard to be fit for this game. So let's see where he is at today. Yeah, he joined training only yesterday. So they are going to assess him today. You know, he was also injured. He was injured. He just recovered. He's been training hard for the game. So according to the coach, they are going to assess him today to know whether he's fit enough to play the game against Chelsea tomorrow or not. I like him. I personally like him. He, his style of play is just like uh, Raheem Sterling for me. He's just like Raheem Sterling. But the difference is that Sterling, Sterling sometimes is off. There are some games that you could see that Sterling is totally off in the game. You will not see Sterling in, in the game at all. Uh, but Saka is more consistent. Meanwhile, Sterling is more matured in the football, you know, in the game more than uh, Saka. But Sterling right now, he goes off sometimes. He's not consistent in his games. So you cannot predict him, Sterling. You will not know when he's going to click and when he's not going to click. There are some games he will be off totally. That is the difference. So I would love to see Saka play, honestly. I want to see him play tomorrow. I want to see him play tomorrow. All right, Neymar's latest injury agony could cost FIFA 6.5 million pounds, with a governing body facing paying Al Hilal a huge compensation after the Brazilian was ruled out for the rest of the season. He got injured in international break, playing for Brazil. It's FIFA calendar, FIFA game, and he got injured. So FIFA must compensate, you know, uh, Al Hilal for that injury for the club. 
you went you go for an international team and you play a game and you got injured if the injury will, will take you more than, i think it's what is, is it three months i'm not too sure fifa will have to compensate your club and so when it comes to el liha el Hira, they will have to compensate them 6.5 million pounds six point that is a huge amount of money as a compensation right <laughs> That is how it's called. That's how expensive Neymar is. That is how expensive Neymar is. All right, again to Mikel Ateta. He said, I have been really impressed by Chelsea. I think they deserve much more than what they've got in the table. What Mauricio has done in a short time is phenomenal. We will have to be at our best tomorrow. <laughs> they will have to be at their best tomorrow. The coach admitted that they will have to be at their best tomorrow. Like I said in my previous video, Mikel Ateta is one coach that I personally I like. I admire so much. I like him and I admire him so much. So anything he's saying, he's saying it from the heart, genuinely. You know, he's saying it from the heart, genuinely. Yeah, genuinely he's saying it from the heart. You know. Another thing he also said, Mikel Ateta on Chelsea. He says, I think when you look first of all at the manager and the coaching staff and then the history and players, it's going to happen very quickly. You can see that they are going to be a threat. <laughs> when you see the coach, the coaching staff, the players, and the history of the club, you know that it's going to happen quickly and they could be a threat. Mikel Ateta speaking to the press. Yeah, he's been speaking to the press. All right, let's now move to, the, to Chelsea. Sauce is close to Benoit Badashali have told Football London that he is ready for tomorrow's game. But Shelley is ready for tomorrow's game. According to the report you are receiving, he might be in the starting 11. Sources close to Ben and Shelley have told Football London that he is ready for tomorrow's game. Yes. Yes. Mauricio Pochettino and his assistant, Jesse Perez, who specializes in strength and conditioning, are working hard to anticipate problems and, and create a strategy to solve with James' injury issues. Yeah. The physios in uh, in Chelsea, according to what we are receiving, the report we are receiving, they are one of the best, actually. That is why sometimes it amazes me when the injury situation is getting out of hand. Because they, they are working in a way to prevent, they are trying to find preventive measures for players like Rhys James that are injury-prone right now. Rhys James is already an in injury-prone player. Trust me. They are working on a way to be preventing those injuries that he been sustaining. Sometimes they'll have to separate the player. He, he might be having separate training sessions. He might be on special diet. You know, a lot of things are involved. So they are working hard. Perez is the one in charge of that, trying to find a solution to resume injury issues, according to Niza Kinzela. According to Niza Kinzela. The same Niza Kinzela says, roll the da. <laughs> roll the da. Is it the Ludo? Roll the da. Yes. Rhys James' importance on, a, on big matches as Chelsea look to win against the odds. Rhys James' importance on big matches as Chelsea look to win against the odds tomorrow. Meaning, there's a possibility Rhys James is starting the game tomorrow. Yeah. There's a big possibility. 90% of what, uh, you know, that he's going to ch start the game tomorrow with James. That is what he's trying to say. It is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right? Yeah. All right. Frank Libov. Frank Libov. He said something. He said, if Chelsea can keep scoring like they did in the last three games, there is a chance that they can do something defensively and in the middle of the pack, they can compete with us now. It's only the front line that the Gunners have better players. I'll be happy with a draw. But I think a win from Chelsea could be a very good surprise and a good sign. They are going to get better. I would say 2-1 for Chelsea, according to the pundit, the former player, the legend, Frank Lebov. Yeah, he's predicting 2-1 he's predicting for Chelsea. Predicting 2-1 for Chelsea. Yeah, predicting 2-1 for Chelsea for tomorrow's game. I am not predicting yet. I will wait until later in the day after the coach has delivered his, 
you know, press conference. When I'm giving my team lineup, I will not give my prediction. I will not give my prediction. Yeah. So that is how it is right now. Look, I expect a coach to make mention of Kasaido, Enzo, James, Bisasi, Kopama, and Jackson in the press conference. I will expect him to update us on their condition, whether they are fully fit, they are partially fit, they are ready for the game. All these six players, I will expect the coach to update us on Kasaido, Enzo, with James, Bisasi, Kopama, and Nicholas Jackson during the press conference. And anything that is going to say in that press conference, I will be there in the next hour and a half to deliver to you. Honestly, I'll be right here to deliver to you. In fact, time is getting near. Just about an hour from now, I'll be back to deliver that to you. I'll see you when you see me. Shalom and peace.